Welcome back to this light reading video series. Terry Sweeney here, contributing editor with Light Reading, and I'm joined now by Vikas Butani of Cisco. Vikas, thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, Terry, it's great to be here and with your audience. So we're, we're talking about the Internet of Things edge, the IoT edge. Um, let's start with some definitions. Do you, do you see this as a, a specific place in the network? Is it more of a virtual space? Help us with some definitions about the IoT edge. Absolutely. You know, many of the customers we talk to, Terry, for them, Edge is not necessarily at the headquarters or the branch offices. It's really out where they're producing some material. There could be a factory. It could be a utility substation. It could be a roadway. It could be the intersection cabinet that's out there. And the Edge is where customers produce things. They serve their customers, and they create value and deliver awesome experiences. So to them, Edge is not this unique place. But you really have to double click and think about it for each industry and each customer. What does it mean? So I mentioned a substation for a utility customer. That's how they serve us electricity, as an example. You might think about it as manufacturing. You think about robots and machines. But it's not just about one robot. It's about how you orchestrate these robots and create value and produce, produce goods or, or, or devices in a given factory. Now, Gartner tells us that over 75% of the data will be produced not in the data center, really out here at the edge, as an example. So customers really need to think about, you know, am I, is the edge or all these remote locations connected securely? Or do we have resiliency built in? And when all of this data is being created, how do I manage the flow of the data and the role of enterprise IT and operational teams at this edge location? So what you're describing sounds pretty complex. Um, why, why is the IoT edge as complex as it is? So first, as I gave you examples of these industries, so think about utilities or roadways or manufacturing. Each of these industries have, very, have specific use cases and needs that are unique to that industry. And what that really means is, is and customers have over time built up bespoke implementations for each of these use cases and created this complexity where, you know, security might not have been designed in. And they've been using the same technology for the last seven, 10 years. So over time, uh, a bit of the complexity has built in and with the changes in the workforce, how do you make sure that we are able to service the needs of these locations in an integrated way? How should enterprises then be thinking about opportunities around edge digitization? Yeah, it really, I, mean, I think what you really need, what our customers really are starting to pivot from is they can't have these bespoke architectures. They really need an architectural approach all the way from the campus or the headquarters, all the way out to the edge of their network. And, and what we, Cisco, have been doing is been focusing for the last 12 plus years in kind of thinking about that edge in a more holistic way. So this week we are announcing our our Unite the Edge effort, where we are releasing four brand new product families built with a consistent architecture approach where we are enabling IT and operational teams to work together. And in this portfolio, we're really thinking about one architecture, one software code base, a common set of tools and capabilities, whether you are an IT person using DNA Center in a campus or a headquarters, or you're thinking about SASE and SD-WAN as an enterprise person, but also serving the needs of the operational teams all the way out at the edge. And as we know, Terry, there's a lot of change in the industry, 5G, Wi-Fi 6, sensor technologies, and customers really need flexibility in what they can really do at this edge and, and make sure that they're preparing not just for tomorrow, but five years from now, seven years from now. So because there's a lot more to come at the, in the edge in our customer environments. Still, with that in mind, your, Cisco is still serving mission-critical industries like utilities, transportation, manufacturing. Um, uptime is critical in all these areas. Um, talk about how Cisco is helping customers capitalize on, on opportunity at the edge while also maintaining their operational needs. Right. I mean, look, every day in the news, we hear about how the, these, these industries are critical to all of us as consumers and citizens of this environment. So customers can't just change things overnight. They really have to be thoughtful and methodical about how they think about their change management process. So we have taken a holistic approach where we have thought about 
flexibility, scalability, and security as customers upgrade these environments. Customers need seven, 10, 15 years of life cycle out of these products. So we really thought about from a flexibility point of view, you know, how do we get, allow customers to integrate new technologies? So in this round, we have 5G is built right into the product, but maybe there'll be 6G or something new that they have modularity to upgrade when they're ready. We have integrated capabilities around cybersecurity. And cybersecurity is super important here because it's not just something you can add on. The hardware itself has to have the hardware root of trust. You have to think about digitally signed images. You have to think about software best practices and how you develop it. So that's pretty foundational at the product level. Then you need to think about what devices are connecting to the environment. So we've been investing with CyberVision to give customers deep product and deep device level and communication visibility. And this week, we're also announcing a new capability around secure equipment access. So as we know with pandemic, technicians and engineers haven't been able to visit these remote sites. Now we are giving our customer our customers the opportunity to maintain and manage the PLCs and the RTUs and all of the machines that are connected to it with a secure, robust implementation around cybersecurity as we go forward. And but key, Terry, as I said earlier, is really about these equipment will be there for seven to ten years. So we really need to think about are we enabling our IT teams and operational teams with an integrated management and uh, uh, operational capability such that they can get agility back into their businesses and be ready to see what's coming next. So as you can tell, I'm super excited about what's happening at the edge. You're going to see a lot of innovation around edge compute, AI, ML, uh, security, data, IoT edge data capabilities. So this is a great area to watch, and we are super excited about what we are announcing this week and more to come here. All right. Well, uh, some great perspectives on the Internet of Things. Vikas, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Terry. For having me. We've been talking with Vikas Butani of Cisco. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.